All right, everybody. Let's see if this helps. That, that helps a little bit. So check it out. I thought that I'd make another video about the fast fuel pump system for the Equidiesels, okay? I like the fast system. Yes, it is expensive. Yes, the install kind of sucks. Now, I, I did mine a little bit differently, okay? First off, I used, I think it's a GNS uh, sump, uh, which you drill a hole in the bottom of the tank, you install the sump, uh, and then you run the fuel to the fast from there. Uh, but I left the factory lift pump in place as well. And the reason I did this was, you know, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me here, and they're more than welcome to disagree with me because they have no idea what they're talking about and that's why they're gonna disagree with me here, okay? The factory lift pump will suck fuel lower in the tank than the fast system ever will. And anyone who's ever owned a fast system and has run their tank low before and after it will tell you that they never get as much fuel out of a tank as they did when the tank was stock. Now, we hooked the sump up we hooked the lift pump up, we shut the lift pump off. Driving to work, uh, I was like, ah, the gas light's on, whatever. As soon as I get off work, I'm gonna drive across the street to the gas station and get fuel. I get a block away from where I worked at the time, right? The, fuel's truck, the truck shuts off. Try to get fuel, try to get fuel, try to get fuel, nothing, nothing, nothing. Flipped the switch, turned the factory lift pump on, started the truck, drove the truck to work, started the truck after work, drove the truck to the gas station and filled it. Here is what ends up happening, okay? Now you're gonna have to use your imagination, all right? Fuel tank right here. So let's say the fuel tank here is by my fancy mustache here, okay? The fast pump is up here, okay? So you have the hose comes down to the sump, right? As long as the sump stays flooded, you will have constant suction from the tank through the fast system. It's a similar concept to sticking a hose in a gas tank and trying to siphon fuel out of it with your mouth, okay? As long as you stay sucking and you're standing up, it'll bring fuel to your mouth, right? The reason why we put the hose down towards the ground is to create a vacuum through gravity and induce suction and dump fuel into the fuel bucket or the fuel tank or whatever you're siphoning fuel with, right? Here's the problem. Your gas tank is, your gas, diesel, petrol, fuel, whatever tank is perfectly square to the vehicle, right? So you're driving on low, okay? Low, you know you got like two, three gallons left in the tank, you're about to get to the gas station, right? Well, you go up a little bit of hill. What ends up happening is all the diesel slides to the back of the tank and the hole that the fast system is sucking through now is sucking in air and now it loses suction. The truck starts to stall, the truck dies. You get back to level surface, the truck kind of starts, sputters, shuts off, starts, sputters, shuts off. You now, you no longer have enough fuel to maintain suction to keep driving. And this is where the fast pump sucks for that. Because even on a regular system, when you take the factory lift pump out and you install the fast, you have the same problem. My Cummins, we would put like a gallon and a half less in every time we'd fill up because of the fast system, because it would no longer suck fuel from the bottom of the tank. Um, now, in mine, I have both. Now the fast, the filters that you use in the fast system filter significantly better than the factory, um, factory OEM Mopar Wix paper filter, right? The fast system, you use a water separator and a fuel filter and it's like an extra 10 or 15 microns smaller that it filters and not only does it filter more it continually polishes the fuel and those of you who do not work in food dairy um, pharmaceutical plants and stuff like that you might not be familiar or people that don't work on farms you might not be familiar with the term called polished water polishing something is basically re entering it into the system consistently over and over and over and over again basically filtering it now this makes the fuel polished fuel the fuel is polished or scrubbed or basically has had the contaminants taken out of the fuel and then the extra fuel goes back to the tank and all of the fuel continually gets cycled not only does this help cool down the fuel um, in the summer it maintain makes sure that anything that is moving around inside the fuel tank ends up getting filtered out and stays out of the fuel. Your fuel will be cleaner, okay? 
And, and that's the best part. The fast system only sends as much fuel as it needs. The extra fuel goes back to the tank, and then it basically keeps getting recycled and polished. I recommend a fast pump for every vehicle. I really do. I just wish that the system was designed a little bit more or a little bit better in order to help uh, essentially uh, maintain suction uh, during events where a vehicle might not be on completely level land. And for those of you are gonna come on here and be like, well, why don't you add fuel sooner? You're right, okay, we could add fuel sooner. Some of us drive our vehicles across country, drive long distance, put tons of miles on. And when you put a large amount of miles on, sometimes making it 10 more miles to the gas station that the fuel is 20 cents cheaper is absolutely worth it. So make, making sure that your vehicle can safely get there without running out of fuel is something that's nice to have. So I run both fuel systems on my truck to make sure that I never run out of fuel. I always have constant pressure, and if one or the other fails, my truck will not have any issues whatsoever. You know, the only thing that FAST could do to make things better is, or what you could do to make things better, is install two more sumps, one on each end of the tank, and pipe them together into the middle sump. So that way, anytime the tank does one or the other, fuel gets sucked in. Now, the only poor thing about that is, is that means if one of them loses uh, suction due to going uphill or downhill, the rest of them lose it. So I don't really know the, the best way to do that system, uh, but it would be better, or it would even be better if fuel tanks were shaped like a V, so that all the fuel went to the center of the tank. Whatever, um, you know, just bullshitting here, coming up with ideas. Now, um, again, I highly recommend the fast system for the eco diesel. I highly recommend doing the sump if you're going to do it. And I highly recommend teeing everything in and using both systems together. Um, and there's a lot of people that are going to come on forums and stuff like that and be like, well, that's a stupid idea. It's a waste of money. Look, 900 some dollars, thousand dollars, whatever it costs for this system. Okay. Um, I think you can go twice as long on filter changes and the filters aren't really that expensive. Um, so technically, if you could, based on how you install it or how you tee it in, you can remove the factory crappy filter out of that housing and just use those. Well, if you can go twice the distance, that means you change filters half as much. And if it's cheaper to get those than the other filter, that's cheaper there too. Eventually the FAST system will pay for itself. That I can promise you. Okay, so put that on your list of mods to do someday. It's definitely worth it if you're gonna keep the vehicle a long time. Um, if you have any questions about the FAST system, installing it, or any type of other modifications, feel free to message me um, and, or ask me to make a video about it and I will more, I'll be more than welcome to um, just to keep people updated on what they can do, what they can't do, what makes sense, things like that. Have a good night.